Hello, welcome to Access. I'm Rob. Joining us is Dave. Hello. Dave. We have finally played, or I have finally played, Devil May Cry 5. Yes, you did, Rob. I know this is something you were actually really looking forward to at Gamescom. Yes. uh, This is the first time we've had hands-on with the game. This is my capture of the game. Um, And instantly it reminded me why I love Devil May Cry so much. It's been a very long time. Yes. Uh, especially this branch of Devil May Cry. This picks up where uh, this picks up after Devil May Cry Four. Yes. So this is Nero we're playing as. Nero with his special magic demon arm, which in Devil May Cry Five is like a a special robotic arm. Which yeah. we, you will learn more about. They're popular um, at the moment. But the whole I love the whole aesthetic of Devil May Cry Five. It's this grungy evil looking urban thing with like horrible demonic stuff all over the place it, it feels like the classic kind of Devil May Cry games that I fell in love with yeah. all those years ago and playing it instantly reminded me why I enjoyed those games so much usually I'm not a massive fan of games that are difficult as you know I don't really like to be challenged in games I like a nice easy game but there's something about Devil May Cry it's always been quite difficult but when you get the hang of the combat in Devil May Cry games there is nothing quite as satisfying as stringing together an amazing S rank combo yeah. in a Devil May Cry game because you know you've earned that yeah. when you hit S rank you know it's because you're damn good at the game it's and not luck. here's me getting a D rank dismal <laughs> this is the first time I've played a Devil May Cry game in a long time so I start out and I'm like oh man I'm get, you get those it. you get those early feelings where it's like oh I'm not very good at the game but oh, you know no. it's the start of an epic journey towards getting the higher ranks of the combo and you start to feel your way back into the game you've got your sword on uh, on triangle yeah and you've got your guns on square right and you've also got a grapple ability with circle which um, enables Nero to use his arm you can use it to batter enemies away you can sort of detonate your arm and explode it off Okay. As a means of countering attacks, if a boss is lining up a big blow on you, for example, yeah. you can detonate your arm to interrupt their attack, but you then you lose your arm. Right. And you have to go <laughs> and find another one and hook it back on you. Right, okay. That's quite the... Um, so it's sort of like that risk way reward out type system. You've got to... You yeah. Know, you know, if you detonate your arm, you're going to be without your arm for a bit, so use that detonation power... You know, yeah, cleverly. Just, just right. It's yeah. a bit of a, a last ditch kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, but here we are. And it's just the combat, uh, for me personally, there is no better example of the. I don't really want to call it hack and slash, but you know what I mean? That type of genre that Platinum games have dominated with Bayonetta and, and things like that. I think, yeah. for me, Devil May Cry is the absolute pinnacle of that genre of game. Yeah. And just from this very short burst of playing Devil May Cry 5 it feels like this is going to be no different it's it's going to be a battle system that is requires a lot of effort to to become a master of but one that is incredibly satisfying and then you get the ridiculous cutscenes like this where he is dodging cars and then kicking them away yes and you get the the classic trash talk and oh it's just it's just so much fun to play and we haven't even mentioned like how incredible it looks it looks yeah. absolutely the, the. I don't know what's going on. These kind of sparks that are flying during combat. It's like I, I think it's. Um, That's just me being brilliant. That's me discharging my arm. Right. That's not me exploding it. That's me. You can like you can hit people with it with a tap of circle. If you hold down circle, you will charge it up and do a more powerful attack. Or you can press L1, which detonates it. Right. Okay. Um, and the, the, that kind of like crosshairs that's coming up over enemies is that is that to show that you can use your grapple? That's all. Oh, that's locking. That's like, me locking that's just, on. Yeah. They've, they've just been locked on. And right. I'm now now realizing that I can go in the air. And then later on, you will see me incorporating my ability to grapple enemies. And the cool thing about the grapple is in these kind of games. Here we go, grappling enemies towards me. So I'm bringing them into the air. So when you're fighting yeah. a group of enemies, a good strategy to use is to jump up in the air, grapple an enemy up towards you. So you're fighting one enemy at a time in the air. Yeah. It's just, you know, a simple strategy that you will learn early I on. I didn't in know game. this was Rob's pro tips. Wow. I mean, I mean this is, you know, I'm, I'm not calling myself a Devil May Cry pro, but that's a thing I learned having played this demo for 10 minutes. You're getting close to an A rank here, Rob. A He's rank. A rank. only going made the A rank. There we go. Will we see an S? Not this time. But apocalyptic. Oh, There's still time. It's so yeah, satisfying. it's an amazing looking looking uh, game. I mean, the start we saw the classic wet cobbles. 
Yes. I'm a big fan of wet cobbles. I mean, and just this, like the idea of clearing out an area of demons and then the door to the next area sort of disappearing. Oh, it's just nice, isn't it's, it? You know where you're at with that. It's old school, but if it, and that's exactly how the old Devil May Cry games were structured. You know, you, an air, you get into an area and you'd see the demonic skulls covering the door and you know I'm not getting out of this room until I yeah. kill everything that's in here. Absolutely. And then you set about doing your work. I like that. Yeah, I like that as just a kind Have of some of that table. gameplay. <laughs> you really saw that. <laughs> that was an S rank on the table. Yeah. Like you just know where you're at, you know what you've got to do. It's kind of nice and controlled and I'm yeah, I'm a big fan of that. I love yeah. that kind of cloud of sparks, that sort of electricity yeah. that, that that you're I mean triggering. it's weird watching this back now because when you're actually playing it, you're not really noticing that. You're so focused on, okay, there's an enemy there, I need to kill that enemy. Yeah. And then watching it back you realise how absolutely spectacular Look at it, it looks. The effects are incredible. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And Nero does look a lot different to how he looked in uh, Devil May Cry 4 as well. He's got, got shorter hair, he's got a more sort of square jawed face. Yeah. He, he's grown up basically. I must admit, I've not, I've not played any of the Devil May Apocalypse. You are missing out, games, Dave. And um, I just know how much I would get into this, the, the, how important the ranking system is and how, yes. like you say, just developing that flow, knowing that you've, you you can't kind of luck your way to an S rank. No, you've, not at all. It, and you've got to plan it or there's skill involved. You know? Nathan was watching me play this and he was asking me how the rankings worked. And I was sort of describing it as, in Nathan's language, it's a bit like Resogun, where <laughs> to keep your ranking going, you have to be continually hitting enemies. If you go a period of time without making contact with an enemy, you will lose your ranking. It starts yeah. to go down. If you get hit, it starts to go down as well. Yeah. So you've got to avoid being hit whilst also... Hitting. It's a, it's a combat system that rewards aggression and it rewards proactiveness. It's not about hanging back and blocking, or you can you can dodge, obviously. Yeah. Um, but it's about you just kicking ass, yeah. basically. And there is nothing more satisfying, as I said, than absolutely nailing an area of demons and destroying them all with a triple S rank combo. It's chaining everything together as well, isn't it? Yeah. Like they've worked so hard on the the animations and things to make. It so that it flows together and you you it doesn't feel like a series of like button pushes it's just like yeah Nero is just moving from one yes. enemy to the next from one move to the next sort of fluidly what is happening Rob? do you know what's, what, what's happening in this part of the story the city, I don't know what story wise we don't know this is a mission two so right. something obviously story wise happens in mission one yeah um, very little is known about the story so far. We know from the reveal trailer that, that Dante, Dante, however you like to pronounce his name, yeah. is back. He is in the game. We okay. saw him briefly in the trailer on his chopper, I think we call it, his cool motorbike. Nice. We don't know what part Dante has to play in the game. Right. Um, so we don't know if he's a playable character or... That might have been confirmed. I don't know for sure. Fair but, enough. Um, we're just playing as, as Nero in this, in this demo. Yeah. But... I mean, it's super. He's one of the most iconic characters in PlayStation history. He's up there, like he's you know he's in the same league as Solid Snake in terms of iconic lone wolf badass. Yeah, You've got Solid Snake, Geralt, Dante. That's They're it. Just the three <laughs> just of them. those, actually. Yeah. I wonder if they get together ever for you know. Who would win in a fight? Oh no, that is a question <laughs> for the comments. If those, if those three all had like a battle royale, yeah, who would come out on top? I think it might be Dante. It probably would be Dante. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although Snake would just find a way to win. Wow. Snake's beaten up a, a 30 foot nuclear equipped robot mech thing. That's true. And he's done it lots of times. Yes. But then I guess Dante has fought like actual gods as well. He didn't do it too well when Nathan and I were working no, that's with true. him that time. He didn't, but, did he? Um, to be fair. So here's a little puzzle. Find a weird little tiny bug thing yeah, and put it in this disgusting looking thing. Thing. <laughs> it's just calling it a thing. It's uh, just a, yeah, a it's mess. It's called of... a Nidhog hatchling. Uh, yes. I mean, and all, all and I know about Nidhog this... is it's a great video game. Well, I, I mean, when puzzle... something's blocking your path in Devil May Cry, usually the solution is hit it. Yeah. And we've done that there to great effect. Do you have any sense of where this is in the world? Story-wise, I know, we're, you know, I can't really talk about what's going on in the story. Well, that's fine. Although, I did just think that we saw a red telephone box. It, well, Nathan was saying that, it, you know, is this London? Yeah. There's well, a crane there. Who a knows? Crane. I mean, do we have cranes in London? 
We have buildings in London. <laughs> Just like this. So it could be, who knows. We do have red telephone boxes in London, but apart from that, yeah. I can't recognise any landmarks immediately. So this, I did a nice little... You've got to take nice, the time, have got, you? got to the take pan. the time. Yeah. I also, mean, like I, like I, said, the way, I like the way Nero's clothes sort of ripple in the breeze as yeah. well. Very nice. Oh, I like the way that the walls just disappear to accommodate this pan. You yes. know, some <laughs> games, they're solid and the camera bangs into them and you have to go over the top and whatever. Yeah, the game knows what I'm trying to do here. Um, and here, we are about to encounter... Look at this. Is there anything oh, more yes. amazing than that? He just knew. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you think Nero is? That's quite what's a British gonna, ambulance there, Rob, as well. Just gonna, saying. <laughs> just saying. And he's inside oh, he's it. inside the ambulance. <laughs> I thought it had Someone left him behind. I thought doctor. that's amazing. And here we go. We're now introduced to the boss of this area, Goliath. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm I can see that. Oh, and also, one of my favourite things about Devil May Cry is when you f when you face a boss like this. It's not like Dark Souls, where you're like, oh no, and you know it's going to be like you know four or five hours of trying and trying and trying until you succeed. You almost relish this in Devil May Cry games. It's like, right, I'm going to kick <laughs> your ass. A, because the trash talk of, of you know, previously Dante, but now Nero, yeah. they're just great little bits of trash Gets talk. You Look in the how mood. cocky he is. Oh, he's yeah. dodged he it. Really he's now care. just, yeah, come on. And you just, that imbues you, the player, with confidence. Yeah, absolutely. And it's not to say that the bosses are easy, by any stretch of the imagination. Some of the Devil May Cry bosses have been, are up there with some of the toughest bosses I've ever It's fought. an attitude thing, though, isn't it? Yeah. I think, uh, Rob, it's worth saying that we are going to nip away from this boss fight before it actually we are. Gets, gets going. I'm going to show you something else um, for people who may want to be getting into Devil May Cry but have not played any of the Devil May Cry games or who just want to be able to look amazing without being particularly you know a master of the battle system yeah um, there's a thing in Devil May Cry 5 called auto assist which basically allows you to pull off incredible looking combos with simple button inputs yeah so we are going to see a bit of that in a sec and yeah, so, so the gameplay more. we've seen so far is just regular, regular mode. Regular mode. Uh, no, no assists on any of the combos or anything. We've decided here, even after so, seeing Goliath <laughs> introduced. <laughs> so here we are. We're going to go back to Goliath in a minute, but here's a room that we saw earlier, and now I'm using auto assist. So I'm just pressing, at the moment I'm just doing triangle. I'm attacking with my sword with triangle, and yet Nero is flying about all over the place. You've already got an S. You've got two S's. We're not going to see all three. And he's, I think we are. No. Smoking sexy style. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a really cool way for people who, like I said, are, have not played very much Devil May Cry and want to get into it and, you know, want a, a bit of an easier route into the game to look amazing. Because one of the best things about Devil May Cry is looking amazing in combat. You can do that if you want. You can put auto assist on. If you want the, the true Devil May Cry experience, just don't put that on. And yeah. And play like this. Um, so back to Goliath. And this is back to the back regular, to regular, no auto assist. So when you get your triple S ranking, I yes. guess Goliath will know it was a real <laughs> exactly. one. Exactly. Yeah. Hilariously, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll tell you the story at the end. Right. <laughs> but this is anyway. This is my fight with Goliath. This was a, a difficult fight, and the Capcom representative who was with me said that it was maybe 50-50 yeah. people beating Goliath or not very few people beat Goliath on their first attempt and is this your first attempt? yes be it honest. is I am being honest, okay. be honest. I, I believe, if I died I, I would it. say I died yeah. um, this, is, this is my first attempt at Goliath and what oh, I like nice. about it is how the battle changes stages I was going to say so, I'm a big fan of that that's great at the moment it's not looking good for me he's taken quite a bit of my health off and I've not really done that much damage to him maybe a quarter of his health He's not messing around. He's not absolutely no respect for the architecture. But you will see the grapple system here, whereas when you have small enemies, you pull them towards you. When yeah. it's a larger enemy, you pull yourself towards them, yeah. which allows you to close the distance to bosses like this, who like to do big area damaging um, attacks. So quite often, to avoid those attacks, you have to move far away from the boss. A good way of closing the distance after that is to grapple them. Yeah, and pull yourself in. And we saw a good example of the uh, the kind of <clears throat> ranking system there. You wanna you you made up to B, Rob, and then you got and hit. Back to D now. Went back to D. Took a lot of damage from the boss, and that is the price you Look pay. Look at how he's broken the window with that. And nice. that is, oh, <laughs> this is just God. Bad. Absolutely this is, I not think messing We're going to see an example here. It's giving me a little um, tip there. Press L1 to detonate your arm, and you'll break away from that. So there we are. I'm detonating my arm which sort of interrupts his attack. Yeah, that's good. 
And, and uh, if you recovered your arm, in trouble now. Did you recover your arm? I've got another one there. You can see I've got one of four. Ah, right. Um, but I really need to be finding some green orbs because my health is not looking too too good at the moment. Where are they likely to come from? Just hanging around. Just hanging around. Just hanging around on the floor. I'm, I'm appreciating the nice sunset here. Like I said before, when I was actually fighting this guy, I was not paying attention to how nice the sunset looked. But it's quite nice. I'm really I found a green orb. I'm really I'm back in business now. Actually, blown away by how good it looks. I think it's a fantastic looking game with this amount of you know movement on the screen and uh, everything. It just looks this. There's so much fidelity. I think Goliath is a, a really cool boss as I well. I think fans of Devil May Cry are going to be excited that it's back. Yeah. It feels like coming home. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand that. We also didn't talk about how Goliath's got a mouth in his belly. Yeah. <laughs> which, which seems to be full <laughs> of lava as well. I mean, that's a classic Devil May Cry sort of grotesque boss design. Yeah. And this is mission two. I mean, yeah. I mean, we're not m hanging around. To be fair, one of the hard. I maintain that in the first Devil May Cry, when you fight Phantom, who's like a big lava scorpion. Yeah. He's one of the hardest first bosses yeah. I've ever fought. Like he was an absolute nightmare when I first fought him, and when I second fought him, and third and fourth and fifth. Yeah. It took me ages. Yeah. But then it, that stood you in good stead for the rest of the yeah. game. I'm sure. We're close here, Rob. I'm, I've got a good feeling about this. Have about you got a good this. feeling? Well, you're going to have to get very impatient, I think, to mess this up now. Although, yeah. I'm sure he does have some tricks up his sleeve, like that. Yes. Basically a small nuclear blast. That's all right. I've sort of avoided that. He's going down with the sun. <laughs> and we've even... Have we, no, we're no. back to dismal. No, yeah. <laughs> dismal, mate. Yeah. Fine, I'll take Absolutely dismal. Absolutely dismal. As it's long as I'm winning this fight, I will take dismal. It's not even rated dismal at the moment. There's nothing. <laughs> There's been no comment at the game site when he hasn't done anything. No. Here we go. Fine. D again. Dismal. Oh, C. Crazy. Are we going to see your mission, the rank for your mission as well? I hope so. I mean, Nathan said I did this video. I hope he's left my rank in. The Look building's that. falling that down so on top of it. Cool. Look at that. That's great, isn't it? Look at the smoke. The sun coming through the smoke. Oh, it's just gorgeous. We're back to dismal again Rubble now. Rubble everywhere. He's, He's still not alive. Finished. He's not oh, finished yet. Oh, that was great. I loved that so much. And then... Nice way to finish. Just a little swipe. A yes. casual swipe. There we go. Well played. Oh, so, yeah, I did beat him on my first go, Dave. I'm impressed, Rob. Hilariously. Well done. Dismally, <laughs> but you did do it. I mean, I buried him. Buried him in a load of building yeah <laughs> <laughs> when i played it the second time with auto assist on yeah i lost the fight that's strange isn't hilariously it? and it was it was strange because i was absolutely destroying him and i got up to s i was s ranking him i had an s rank combo and i just got complacent B was going to uh, i mean i think that's i think that's, that's all right that's, that's respectable yeah that's the lowest rank you ever want isn't it a b you can yeah. live with a b that's, I think you've done well there. And stylish is exactly right. What yeah. a stylish looking game. This yeah, is. And this is the cool thing about it. As soon as you finish a level and you get a B, you want to go back and play it and try and get an S rank. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so there you go, everyone. There is our very first hands-on with Devil May Cry 5. It looks amazing. It, to play it feels amazing. Please let us know in the comments what you think of the game. Um, give us a like if you enjoyed the video. And please hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on any of our videos we've got coming up. For the players.